Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Friday on FIFA 21, and usually we're looking at a promo, but today it's looking like, unless EA have a surprise for us, it is looking like there is not going to be a promo today. Second week in a row without a promo in FIFA 21, which seems a bit crazy. It's kind of like EA Sports, what are you doing? Because literally today, the 19th, is the... 12 year anniversary of FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, it'd be honestly funny if like EA tweets out something today because March 19th is literally the day in 2009 when FIFA Ultimate Team first became a thing, when Ultimate Team as a game mode first was released. So, uh, unless EA have a surprise birthday party plan, right? You know what they did a couple weeks ago on Monday with Foot Player Days? Unless they have a surprise birthday party plan for FIFA today, uh, we have nothing in the code, nothing like that. So they'd have to drop stuff really quick this morning um, if that is going to be the case. So I guess that's our last glimmer of hope for a birthday. But I want to talk about the other type of content that could come today if EA would run some other sort of like best of promo again. Uh, and of course, talk about some player of the month cards we have today. Road to the final upgrades, also the U Europa League and UCL draw. And maybe Icon Moments SBCs, possibly, right? I'm rocking the Cameroon kit today, hoping for maybe a little Eto SBC. I mean, that'd be crazy if they dropped an Eto SBC. But let's start from the top. One thing that we can be sure of seeing today is Bundesliga Player of the Month. We've got Sancho in the voting. I think it's either going to be Kostic or Sancho. Um as the winner of this vote for this month. I think Sancho will probably win the fan votes. Uh, and if this card would get a player of the month, it would be a 90 rated card, I think. It'd be an 89 or an a 90. It actually might just be an 89 because this is a record breaker card. I don't know if they'll upgrade the player of the month plus two off of that one or if they'll upgrade it plus two off of the Sancho or the 87 base card. But, um, you know, depending on the price of the SBC, might be a decent card to complete. Maybe be careful with this 92 Sancho. If an if like an 89 or a 90 comes out and it's really, really cheap, you might have some people sell this version to go and do the SBC because people love SBC versions of cards, which we saw yesterday with the Mbappe SBC, the panic that that caused right away and the prices that dropped because of that. We'll take a look at that in a second too. But that is number one thing I think we're almost guaranteed to get today is that Sancho player of the month or Bundesliga player of the month, whoever it is going to be. Second thing is that this is happening early, right? We are getting a Champions League draw today. It's happening around 7 a.m. my time, which is 7 a.m. Eastern. I think it's like uh, midday CET. So whatever time zone that is for you, do the math. Uh, but we have got the quarterfinal and semifinal draws um, will be happening today on um I think it's on this website, on the Champions League website right here, UEFA.com, it'll be streamed. So one thing to watch for will be whoever draws who, right? One interesting thing to see, we saw this last time with the draw for the Europa League was whoever draws like that lower tier team for, in my opinion, whoever draws Porto today, this morning, those road to the final cards on the market are probably going to jump up in price a little bit just because that's going to make for a quote unquote easier matchup for whatever team matches up against them. Now, my guess, maybe maybe PSG, maybe Manchester City matching up against Porto. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but just keep an eye on the, on whoever uh, road to the final cards are of the team that matches up against them because you might see them go up a little bit. And I'll, honestly, you might see some cards go down if they have a hard matchup. Like let's say Liverpool and uh, Dortmund are going to get matched up or, or Liverpool, Dortmund and Bayern. Actually, that probably wouldn't happen. Liverpool and Bayern, let's say, happen. You know, maybe you see Salah drop a little bit. But also... Uh, what you have are road to the final upgrades coming tonight. Now, of course, all teams from Europa League, we can talk about the Europa League draw as well. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Pogba's getting upgraded, right? Cancelo's getting upgraded tonight. Varan, Wijnaldum, and all these cards are still pretty low. A lot of these guys are down from where they were earlier. Uh, and I think that if there is no promo today, you will probably see some people buying these cards up before their potential upgrades later tonight. I guess one thing EA could do is upgrade these Road to the Final cards as a part of the content at 6 p.m. today. So just keep an eye on that too. Um, if there are some drop-offs and we get Road to the Final upgrades pronto at 6 p.m. if there's no promo, um, then you might see them bounce quickly and right away, right? Akanji was like 690,000 coins at his absolute highest. Um... This guy with a plus one is still going to look insane. He's down to 530,000 coins, pretty low. Um, Draxer's getting upgraded, of course. You've got um, 
Who else is getting upgraded from here? Hazard and Gabriel Jesus are getting upgraded. And then from Team 1, this Salah card is just really, really cheap. 1.9 mil. He's going to go to a 94. Um, you've got guys like Davies getting upgraded as well. Rashford's at 1.2. He is getting upgraded. So just keep an eye on some of those road to the finals for sure. Whether they're Europa League or... Or Champions League. The upgrades are coming today on Friday. Should be happening at some point today. Uh, also, the Europa League draw. Same thing with, with the whole Porto situation with the Champions League. If you have somebody like Manchester United who is going to get matched up against Dinamo Zagreb or Man U versus Slavia Praha, that seems like an easier matchup, right? So you might see some of those cards go up a little bit. Whereas if you saw like Arsenal match up against Roma or something, uh, maybe you see Aubameyang and Bruno Perez drop a bit because that would be a bit of a harder matchup. So that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind with Road to the Finals. You might see those price movements today. Now, what, what's going to happen today on the market, right? If there is no promo, what in the world is going to be happening today on FIFA? Because a lot of the hype right now is just on people wanting to see a new promo come out. Now, if there's not a legit promo, I think EA could still do a best of. I mean, obviously, this week has not been good for EA Sports. There have been uh, even more mess ups yesterday um, with like no nobody was able to open packs in the store with coins, only FIFA points. Uh, so that was another little debacle. That's like the third big issue that EA has had go wrong this week. Uh, so it almost feels like a hey, EA, you need to drop something in the game to like keep us occupied or have us do something so that we don't think about all the bad stuff that is going on. But um, besides like the obvious content for today, I think EA could, if they really wanted to do a best of team of the week promo uh, and just throw best of cards into packs if that would happen right if that would happen i just want to talk you guys through what happens when we have a best of team of the week promo because that's something ea can do at any time they did it a lot in fifa 19 i think three different times two or three different times they just dropped best of team of the week in packs uh and called it some sort of a promo uh, but you have like this Neymar inform card, right? And he is actually down right now. He's rebounded a bit. He was closer to 1.8 mil when the Mbappe player of the month SBC released because that card is a left wing. Um, but a card that is in packs for best of team of the week, especially right now where there's a ton of packs being saved up, people will start ripping those, right? Some people will open their saved up packs and there will be tons of supply right away for these cards that go back into packs if that's what happens. They'll drop crazy in the first hour with combined panic selling and supply. EA will probably run lightning rounds for it if they really wanted to. That'd be just a way for them to collect a quick bag, honestly. Um, but everything that would be in packs would get destroyed in that first 30 minutes to an hour because the saved packs supply is way, way, way more than the uh, lightning round supply. So all informs that could be in packs for best of team of the week could be Ronaldo's 95, could be Messi, could be, of course, um, Neymar. You could have a couple other informs in there that are pretty high rated and OP. They could put in like Kyle Walker's inform again, best of team of the week. So you would, you would see those cards get supplied big time in the first two hours. Then they would bounce back um, because they would just get bought back up and people would say, yo, this uh, Ronaldo, like he's a 4.4, 4.5 million coins, 4.3. Um, this might drop down to like 3.8 or something, and then boom, right back up to 4.2, or you know, not maybe not those exact prices, but you get the you get the idea, right? A big drop with combined panic and new supply on the market, and then a rebound uh, as people buy those cards back, just because they get super duper cheap. So that could be this sort of thing you see today with the best of promo. I don't know how likely that is, to be completely honest. EA can do whatever they want. We'll see. Um, but also what I could see happening today is since we didn't get any icon player SBCs yesterday and they have dropped icon SBCs on Fridays before we have got, of course, six icons with Balak, Rui Costa, Schmeichel, Nedved, Carlos Puyol, and did I say Clivert already? Yeah, Clivert in the section right now. Six icons are available for SBCs with loans. 43 days remaining. I think these icons are going to be out until team of the season because 43 days takes us until the very beginning of May. So just to kind of put that in your minds, but I think we could get three more today if EA really wanted to. And I think we've gotten, we've kind of got a bigger player each time, right? We had Nedved as the biggest player uh, the first time around. We had Balak the second release. This time, if EA wanted to release a bigger player, I mean, could they go as big as somebody like Eto? Somebody as big as maybe like a Stoikov, maybe that could be somebody we get as like a set of three for more icon moments SBC player SBCs today. I think that's possible uh, as well on the game 
today. But of course, um, yeah, if, if there's stuff that is low on the market, if there is panic selling heading into 6 p.m. at UK today, definitely look at that, right? Because right now on the market, I'm seeing a lot of stuff that is high, right? I'm seeing a lot of cards that are up in price uh, that are inflated a little bit. We'll talk about Mbappe again here in a second, um, but just stuff is a bit high, right? You have out of packs informs, you're out of packs cards. This stuff is up because people are trying it. It's in their teams. You've got Mbabu at 400,000 coins. Kulusevsky, 495. He was down at like 460 earlier today. Pogba's up 30K. This Rashford, I think, is actually just chilling. That's not really up for him. Baba at 397. That's up a lot, actually. I'm pretty sure Baba earlier today was down at like 330 or 340 with some Mbappe panic, maybe. 370. He was 360 right before rewards. So not quite 340, but, you know, some stuff is just up right now. It's just up because people have bought cards for their teams. They're getting ready for the weekend league with the extra picks being involved as well. So that is something you're seeing. Stuff is getting rare. Stuff is up. Now, one thing we saw last week with no promo was actually icon moments went really, really high on Friday night. I think it might have just been because there was no packs open. There was no supply. There was a little bit of selling pre- uh, content drop last Friday and people just wanted to try icons out in their teams over the weekend. So these guys went up a lot last weekend. That would be one thing I would keep an eye, an eye on today is if you see any big drop offs on some of these icon moments, keep an eye on them for potential flips and for them getting rare into the nighttime. Um, if there is no content or lackluster content today on Friday. So I think we've rolled through all the potential stuff that we could see for content today. In my opinion, uh, of course, EA, of course, can do whatever they want. If they want to drop a crazy late foot birthday and add stuff into the code, we'll be talking about that early in the morning if that does come. Uh, of course, that'd be a big surprise party, I guess. But I want to talk about this Mbappe SBC a little bit too, because I think this is a sort of market movement we could see with the Sancho today, possibly. And it's a market movement that we see with icons when icon moments get released as well. Just like when Balak and when Ned Dead got released, since there is the option for you to attain this card untradeable through an SBC now, people will sell whatever version of Mbappe they have to go do this SBC since it is available and out in the game for them to do. Mbappe's gold card today was about 660K when that SBC dropped. He went down to about 610K for a hot second and is now rebounded up. Other Mbappe special cards got panic sold today as well. The record breaker, which I think has rebounded back because of the position change, um, you know, actually it's around the same price, 2.35, 2.34 for this record breaker. He was down to about 2.2 uh, when he first dropped. And then also the Mbappe left wing man of the match card. This guy was about 1.7, 1.8 uh, low million coins, like 1.7 high, 1.8 low, got panic sold today down to the lower one sixes. And he's still kind of in that one six range. Um, just because people will sell whatever version they have of that card to go attain an untradeable one, um, to do that. Cause it is like, yo, if I had golden Mbappe, people were going and selling him to get the better one. Even though I do not think this SBC is 100% worth it. If you're upgrading from golden Mbappe to the SBC. Now look, he's back up to 650K. Since that position changes there, he's left wing. It'd be hard to get him and Neymar in a team on full chem. So I think a lot of people just bought back some of those cards today. But I do think that is like a popular and a common market movement that you do see. So let's say like Stoikov's SBC were to come out today, I would expect somebody like Stoikov to probably um, go down in price right away, a couple hours of panic selling, depending on where the SBC price is. And then that would rebound and get rare again in the nighttime. It happened with Balak. He went from like 1.6 mil down to 1.4 and then back up to 1.5. Um, and I think he's still chilling like the one high one fours. Actually, he's low one fours right now. So that's kind of stuff that you can watch out for today if there is an SBC player that is released. And since there's more SBCs on the horizon and it doesn't really look like there's gonna be that much um, pack supply if there is no promo today, SBC fodder, if it's high rated, I'm holding on to it, man. 86s are at 30,000 coins, 32K. I would honestly be holding on to this stuff. Uh, De Bruyne is at 114 out of packs. You know, some of your high rated stuff is inching up. And if we get more icon SBCs today, another player of the month SBC, uh, people working on the Messi SBC right now and the Mbappe possibly, as well as some of the icon upgrade SBCs that are still out in the game. 
Uh, with no supply, I continue to see SBC fodder on the high end for sure keep rising. Uh, we could even see some sort of player SBC today too if EA just drops some random player uh, SBC in the game. So that's the kind of stuff that I would expect today on the market. I think it's going to be a decent trading day. I really do think it will be. With Road to the Finals, especially with some of these early movements, they'll be interesting to watch. Icon moments and just other rare cards will be great to keep an eye on too. Open bids are going to be your best friend. That's why you saw me add the Hernandez and the Balak on open bid. And some of these out-of-pack special cards that are really rare, like the Subislai, he was 400k earlier today. 379 right there. Like if I saw an undercut on this or an open bid at like 350, like these, there's two open bid Subislais right here at 350. I'm going to watch these because if I can snag one, I'm going to try to flip one. So that's kind of how we're feeling about the content today in FIFA. No promo as it seems right now. It almost does not make any sense for EA to not drop a promo today, considering what's been going on in the game and also just what today is, right? Today is FIFA Ultimate Team's legit birthday. So I think we're going to have our own birthday party for Ultimate Team in the stream. Uh, click the link down below. We're, we're going to have some sort of fun uh, on the game today for sure. But that is what we're expecting today. Player of the month for sure. Maybe I can moments SBCs and maybe some surprises from EA. We will see. But if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out at all, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.